Okay, good evening, people. I'll just shift this out the way. A um, little bit of a change up for this one. Um, I'm out in the garage. I've got the knee shields to fit on the PCX, but quite frankly, I can't be arsed. It's just one of the days. I'm just going to have a beer and smoke a cigar and dick about on the internet on my laptop. And I thought what I would do first of all is, well, as some of you may have noticed, I've changed the description of the channel. Um, what I've got is I'm going to start bringing in some of my other kind of things, my other passions and things that I, I get into in life. Um, one of which being cigars, one of which being beer, uh, and one of which uh, is also watches. So let me just play with the zoom. Oh yeah, that's better. That's what I was looking for. Um, I'm trying out some new camera wise today, so this is kind of like a test to let me know if this works as well or not. So this evening will be brought to you by Modelo because it was in the fridge, and a nice Monte Cristo open regatta uh, torpedo. So this, without further ado, is a cracking cigar. Really like these Monte Cristo opens, man. They're really good. And I've got the diesel heater on in the background because it's about minus one just now where I live. It has not been warm. It is bloody cold. Uh, and it shall be continuing to be cold for probably another couple of months. So apologies for any background noise there. So, to the horror of every cigar person all over YouTube, guess what I'm lighting with? Ah! Uh, a zippo that doesn't work. Ah! I need to change the wick on this. Excuse me. Every single cigar aficionado all over the world will be horrified at the fact I've just lit that with a zippo and I didn't use a match or a butane lighter. Just to let you see the setup, what we have. Got my wee MacBook Air on a wee monitor. Just my workbench. Uh, just uh, got a bit of Linus Tech Tips on there watching the one show. Something they do every weekend. And we got the fridge there with more beer, etc. And, and a pile of crap that I should really tidy up and put away. But, back to this evening's, well, I hope it's slightly entertaining. Because um, it's about stuff that I like, so it's going to be good for me. I don't know if it's, if it's going to be for you guys. Uh, I'm going to run you through my latest three watches that I've got. I've picked up lately um, and I'm going to be having a look at kind of projected motorbikes on Dumtree and stuff like that as well so I might bring you in for that too yeah, and let you see how I do things. So without further ado let me introduce you to the first, these are my kind of top three at the moment, my top three watches for 2023 so far. They're all cheap for, well, for watches, they're pennies, um, they were all under £100. They're all from Aliexpress, although I bought two of them on eBay from resellers because I was impatient. Um, and only one of them's a diver style watch, which is unusual because it doesn't seem to be really, really common. Such a nice cigar. Anyway, what we have in the Ducati Astro there. Cannot remember where I got that from. Anyway, um, we have here, this is a steel dive. Uh, I believe this is known as a turtle or a Captain Willard. I think the Captain Willard is the all steel and no colour. This is basically a steel dive, AliExpress brand. Really, really, I think the quality is amazing on it for the price of them. Really, really, really good automatic movement with the date. You've got the dive wheel that spins and clicks around, etc. Um, a lovely bracelet, which in all honesty I'm probably going to have to take a link out of, I think, so I think it's a little bit too big. Um, such a good weight to that. I think this weighs something like 180 grams, so for a watch it's pretty damn heavy. Um, I got this on eBay for, no, not on eBay, I'm a total nonsense. This one was on Facebook for one of the watch buyer, you know, the kind of UK watch trader type group things. Um... I got this, I think I paid 60 quid for it delivered. And it was absolutely mint condition. What you get in the box with it? You get a lovely kind of rubbery silicon, I think it's silicon, matching green strap. It should go with it there. Um, you get some spare 
spring bars, spare link that was already out of it, warranty card and instructions etc. But what I'm really impressed with is the fact that it comes in this wee waterproof case. That will be getting repurposed for something else. Um, that would be quite handy for something. Can't think of it right now, but I'm sure I think of something later on. Um, this is a fantastic watch. As we say, as they say, watches the loom on it is phenomenal. Um, it glows in the dark really, really well, basically. Um, it keeps really good time. I love the fact that I really know I've got something on my wrist when I wear it. Um, it's got a good weight to it. It's really chunky, really heavy. I'll let you see what it's like on, actually. Quick wrist check at the moment. We have my workshop watch on, my cracked glass rotary that I bought about 12 years ago. Ugh. Um, take that off for now, fire this one on. Nice clasp on it as well. We've got the little safety, and then you get the two buttons that you undo. And ta -da, there we go. That's it there. It's, I mean, I've got quite a big wrist. That's about, I think my wrist's about seven and a bit inches, something like that, um, last time I checked it. So it's quite a chunky watch. Um, it's nice that it moves around a lot because it, it is quite, you know, it does it does stand out a bit. It's quite heavy, it's got good weight to it. Um, and I think that's fantastic value for that price. I believe they're about 80 quid, 85 quid brand new on AliExpress. Uh, I bought this one off someone that had barely had bought it and worn it twice, I think. Um, and this is all the accoutrement you get with it in the box. And they come in this lovely box. He was selling two, he had one that was um, just... Uh, blue, need a blue one as well. That's why it says green, they don't normally come with that on it. But a cracking V case as well. I do like that. I'll put a watch back on it. Um, it's a lovely little thing. I believe it's, as I say, based on the model that was worn by Captain Willard in Apocalypse Now. So that's what it is. It's a homage watch. And the other two are homages as well. Different brand though. The other two. are from a brand called Pagani. <laughs> Sorry, smoke went out. Um, the other two are from a brand called Pagani. Which, again, AliExpress brand, but really good quality. Um, the internet seems to be enthusing quite a lot about their Speedmaster homage, um, which seems to be getting quite a lot of positive praise. These models I've seen reviews in, I think they're great. A few channels, um, just another watch. Um, can't remember, there's a few others as well. There's another good one I watched, Top Tier Ticker, he's, he's cool. He's got some good stuff on there too. Um, I don't buy expensive watches, but th this one was £85 delivered. And what you get in the box, it comes with a NATO strap. So you get the canvas strap. Um, nice bit of packaging there and everything as well. And this is... On homage to a Rolex Air King. And again, it's a good size. It's not massive, but it's no wee either. You've got a really nice bracelet there. Um, again, we've got the wee safety catch on it. Pop it off. Let you see it on. It's an automatic again. Uh as standard with like an Air King style thing, it's not got a date or anything, it's just the numbers um, at the 3, 6 and 9, then you've got the, the inverted triangle at the top end this there. Um, it's a really, really cool watch, I love it, it's not too heavy, it doesn't weigh anywhere near as much as that last one. It's um, a lot more subtle, I think it doesn't kind of jump out at people as much either. Um, Somebody in my work commented on it, said how you know it was quite kind of a nice looking watch as well. Um, I thought it was quite cool. I'll never spend the money in a Rolex. I'll never have the money to spend in a fucking Rolex anyway. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice quality bracelet. Nice kind of weight to it as well. Um, keeps great time, and I do like it. This is pretty much one of the ones that this is probably my more everyday wear of any watch. Um, I believe it's around about 40 millimetres the dial, so it's a good size, easy to tell the time on. Not so great with the lighting up in the dark bit though, it kind of sucks at that, but um, I don't really wear a watch from sleeping, so it's not that big a deal. 
and if I'm driving, the only time I'd need it in the dark so I'm driving uh, or on the bike and I can't use it then anyway. I'd have a clock in front of me anyway. So, that's that one. And, puff of the cigar. The latest toy arrived by Royal Mail today, which I'm quite chuffed at because, and I think this just says something for it. I, I think Harley Express and that get a bit of a hard time. You just need to pick the right seller. Um, I bought and paid... With a pay for it. it was £84 delivered from AliExpress this next one last Friday so eight days ago and it arrived this morning as you see slightly different box this one you just put the top off you get the cleaning cloth you get the kind of natal strap as well and then you get this bad boy so this is obviously a, an homage to the Rolex day date and I think this is lovely it's got that lovely Tiffany blue dial Really, really, really nice. Um, kind of icy blue colour. It's cool. We've got the magnification on the date. We've got the date at the top. It's a super smooth second hand man for one of these. It's awesome. Lovely, lovely quality bracelet. Not a sharp edge anywhere. And this one has, again, nice bracelet at the back. No safety on this one. We've just got the clasp. But we've got that kind of skeleton bit there. And um, we've got one of the things I really love. We've got the see-through back as well. Sapphire crystal on the front for nice scratch resistance. Lovely bit of kit. Really love it. This is my new kind of toy. So this is a wee kind of more dressy one, really. Um, it's not going to be for everyday wear, but it's a cracker. I really like it. This one's quite a bit smaller. This one's only 34 mil, I think. So on my wrist, I think it looks quite kind of dainty, to be honest. It'll look a bit better once I sort the bracelet out, but it's a little bit too big. But as you can see, it's nowhere near the size of the other ones. Just a nice, kind of classy, stylish looking watch. I love that colour. really do like that colour. It's cracking. Really, really cool. But anyway, that's enough about the watches. I'll do more later. Got a couple coming. Again from AliExpress. Ordered the same day as that one. These haven't arrived. They're from a different seller. Um, but I really fancied a moon swatch. And the problem with that is can't get one. I'll do like a proper picture of it and that. But this is just for those that don't know. Um, this is them there. So there's it's a crossover with Omega. It's basically an Omega Speedmaster for us peasants who can't afford five, six, seven grand. And they've got one for the, all these celestial bodies. And they're all different colour schemes. So there's the sun in yellow. We've got Mercury in grey, Venus in pink, Mission to Earth in green, Mission to the Moon in grey. Um, obviously, the Omega Speedmaster was the first watch. It was one of the watches that went to the moon and the Apollo landings along with the Belova Lunar Pilot, the old mechanical watches. Um, and we've got the mission to Mars there in lovely red. We've got Jupiter, Saturn, and you even get the rings round about the bottom bit there, like Saturn. We have Uranus, get your jokes in there. Mission to Neptune there in blue. And mission, I think personally the nicest one, the Pluto one. Um, problem is, Swatch have done a bit of a number on this. You can't buy them online. You can only buy them at a Swatch boutique. We have a two in Scotland, we have Edinburgh and we have Glasgow, neither of which is a Denny stock in any time I've phoned them. Pauses for a slug of beer. Um, and when they do get stock in, they're getting like four or five and they're selling it instantly. So it doesn't seem like I'm destined to get one, especially not for a long time maybe, till demand dies down. They're not limited edition or anything, they're just limited supply. They've gone for anywhere between 250 to 400 quid on the used market and I refuse to pay that. I hate scalpers. Scalpers ugh, should all be tortured by making them eat cinema hot dogs. Um, so I'll never buy one off them. So what I've done, yeah, watch this. I bought, yeah, I've got the Pluto one. I bought fakes. I had to. Um, by all accounts from the reviews and stuff that I've read, I'm really not missing anything. Um, quality is apparently quite shocking. Um, buttons falling off, colours going on to skin, etc, 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 which just makes me laugh. Um, one of the guys in one of the watch groups said he bought them for this place. Um, 
And yeah, I just I thought, you know what, it's worth a punt just for a giggle. So I'll do a wee unboxing and do a wee review of them when they arrive. We'll see what they're like. They can't, but from what I'm told, they can't be any worse than the real ones, quality-wise. But I think that's quite cool. I think it's ridiculous that they, they're so accurate so quickly as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see what they're like when they arrive. They're on the way. They are apparently... Let's do a wee tracking of the order and see what it says. 